focus on your breath, bring everything together in a sense of harmony. The mind is in harmony with the breath, the breath in harmony with the body. Notice what kind of breathing feels good for the body and what kind of breathing is easy for the mind to stay with. And try to maintain that sense of ease once you found it. It takes attention and it takes alertness, but it repays you many times over. This way we're finding some peace inside. Otherwise the body's running off in one way, the mind is running off someplace else. And who knows where the breath is at that point. Nobody's paying any attention. And sometimes the mind is not just running off in one direction, it's running off in many directions all at once. So you've got to bring things together if they're going to learn how to get along together to develop this sense of peace inside. This is going to be the, the month where everybody's talking about peace on earth, peace on earth. Well, it has to start with peace in the mind first. Once you've got peace in the mind, everything settles down inside. You can see clearly what's, what's good and what's not, what's beneficial, what's not beneficial, what's skillful and what's not skillful. And you have a lot more strength to do what actually is skillful. Sometimes we see what's right, but we don't follow through with it because the mind just lacks the strength it needs. So here we are strengthening the mind through the harmony inside. There is a sense of strength that does come from harmony. Think about the threads that go on to make your clothing. If you just have one little thread strung out from here to the other side of the, the other side of the parking lot, it wouldn't be very strong. It couldn't stop anything at all. It couldn't use it for much. But you take that same thread and you weave it into cloth, and all of a sudden the cloth has a lot more use and it's a lot stronger. You can make canvas out of thread. You make all kinds of strong cloths out of thread. You can put them all kinds of uses. That's because the threads are all put together in harmony. So you want this sense of harmony inside. And then from there you can start acting for harmony outside. It doesn't happen simply that just because you meditate things are going, in your life are going to get better. You have to know some basic principles as well. The Buddha listed four for giving rise to harmony in a group. The first one is generosity. You give things to the other person. Give material things, give your time, give your attention, give your forgiveness. For some reason, that last one seems to be the hardest. But what are you saying when you give forgiveness? You're basically saying, I'm not going to pose you any harm. I'm not going to pose you any danger for the things that you did to me. And that's a gift right there, because again, you're not creating any danger for the other person. You're also not creating any danger for yourself. We look at different ways we can be generous with other people, and you find that that creates a lot more harmony in the group. The second principle is kind words. When you speak with one another, speak with respect, speak with gentleness. If there are some harsh things or some unpleasant things you have to say, we learn how to say them in the right way. Find the right time, find the right place, choose the right words to show that you're respecting the other person. So even though you're offering criticism, the other person realizes you're, you're doing it with an attitude of respect. It makes it a lot easier for that person to accept it. And that way your, your criticism gets, is more beneficial than if they just blurt it right out. And the third principle is when you're helping somebody, really give them genuine help. Don't just go through the motions. Look and see, well, what does this person really need? What can I do can I, to provide that need? If you can provide that need, then fine, go ahead and do it. Don't just make a show of being helpful, a show of being kind, without really taking that other person's real needs into consideration. And then the fourth principle is consistency. If you've been helping somebody a certain way, you keep it up. You don't just abandon them in the middle of their projects. And at the same time, consistency also means that the way you treat a person to that person's face is the same way you treat that person behind his or her back. And that way, where there's this consistency going on, then it's a lot easier for everybody in the group to get along. So this principle of generosity, kind words, genuine help, and consistency, these are the things that keep a group going, make the group strong. And they make for peace, first within your immediate group, and then this begins to spread out to the rest of the world. So when they're talking about peace on earth, remember, peace on earth starts with peace in the mind. And then it spreads out through peace in your actions, peace in your words. In other words, it has to come from here, right inside. If you sit around waiting for it to come from outside, well, what's going to happen? Some days you're going to see a, all kinds of wars coming over the horizon. If everybody takes that attitude, people are not going to be able to get along at all. So what we have to do is start finding some peace, some means for harmony in our minds and in our actions in hopes that that will have an influence that will ripple out into the world.